Birmingham is the largest city outside of London with a population of just over 1 million. This city came to prominence by being at the heart of the Industrial Revolution in the 18th century. It has now moved from manufacturing, because of overseas competition, to the service sector, which now brings in 86% of its employment. This change has provided Birmingham with both fantastic development opportunities, but also a rethink of the city centre. Digbeth, also known as the Irish Quarter, lies to the southeast of the city centre. It is home to many digital media, gaming and arts companies, and at the moment is largely a blank canvas of red brick warehouses. There are already many exemplar developments in the area. For example, the Custard Factory, which was previously a group of abandoned warehouses and has now been changed into the main hub of media and arts in Birmingham. Birmingham has been hit hard by the current economic recession, with vacancy rates in the city at 18.6%, compared to Manchester, where it is at 10.3%. Due to this, occupiers have remained hesitant. However, Digbeth itself is within the enterprise zone, meaning that it can benefit from business rates and relaxed planning. This will be attractive for developers because this area is about to go through massive regeneration. This is emphasised in the following interview with George Osborne. Creative industries, television, uh, video gaming, computer gaming and computer software industries. We're also trying to attract business services. These are going to employ thousands of people and these are good jobs as well that they'll be employed in. So we're trying to make Birmingham a world centre uh, of some of the industries of tomorrow. When approaching the options for our site, we felt that the main aim for a short-term development scheme is to bring increased vitality to an area. Our proposed development would aim to be in place for no longer than five years before a long-term and more established development scheme is put forward. This is why we are suggesting to carry on the artistic and creative route that a lot of redevelopments, such as the previously mentioned custard factory, have taken. Through our research, we have found that the profit margin per square foot would be the highest with retail. This would represent the highest percentage of our site. We are proposing to use containers like here at Container City. We'd use these to house new young clothing brands and try and create a new urban area for young people to come and enjoy. We are also looking to encourage any future developments to be as green as possible. These raised bed allotments would be a nice contrast between the steel containers bringing a good mix of development. Site B provides a great short term development opportunity with a mix of retail space, art studios and green space. Our proposed development scheme would both maximise profit for the site but would also provide a new urban space with the focus being on promoting and starting up small businesses and re-energising the local community.